This is Andrew Stotts of 80 Stotts Investment Research for World Class Benchmarking. Today I'm looking at Universal Robina Corporation in the Philippines. So let's get a little background on the company. First thing is Universal Robina Corporation is a Philippines-based food producer with a more than 40% domestic market share and and a presence in international markets such as Thailand, Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, China, and Hong Kong. It's a branded consumer foods count for more than 80% of its revenue. Let's look at a little breakdown here. We can see the ticker code is URC and the market cap is a very large 8.5 billion US dollars, about $9 million in average daily turnover and a beta that's very, very close to one. The sector is consumer staples, industry, food, and beverage. So let's look at what's going on at the company first. Its business comprises three segments, branded consumer foods, commodity food products, and agro-industrial products. URC's manufacturing, distribution, and sales and marketing activities are handled primarily through its branded consumer foods segment accounting for 83% of revenue and comprising snack foods, beverage, and grocery groups. The BCF unit manufactures and distributes a diverse mix of products, many of which have a dominant market share within their segments. The agro-industrial product segment is further divided into three subdivisions, which engage in hog and poultry farming at its Rubina Farms locations, the manufacture and distribution of animal feed, glucose, and soya products at its Universal Corn Products location, and the production and distribution of animal health products at its RobiChem location. The commodities food products segment operates sugar mills and refineries through its sugar subdivisions with milling capacity of 31,000 tons of cane per day, producing 33,000 bags of refined sugar per day be careful, all that sugar, and flour milling with a capacity of 1,000, 2,150 tons per day. So let's look at that revenue breakdown, and this is revenue breakdown by segment as of nine months fiscal year 2016, this year. Branded consumer products takes up 83% of that breakdown, commodity food products 9%, and agro-industrial products 8%. 65% of its sales are domestic and 35% export. Let's look at how they're doing on world-class benchmarking. So first of all, what we can see is that Mr. James Goh has been the chairman from 2002 to the present and also has been CEO over that time. And recently, we have a new CEO, Mr. Lance Go Kongwei, and that's been from April, uh, April 2013 till the present. So let's see how the company rates. Well, wow, we can see that the company was rated a two or a one, world class. And that has continued at number one over the last four years. So way to go, both of you guys, James and Lance. URC ranks among the best 59 large consumer staple companies globally. And the company, of course, I'm benchmarking against 590 there in the top decile. And profitability is world class and the main strength. It's number one and it has been for the last four years. Growth improved to an average rank, but with that kind of profitability, just average growth will make you world class. Where does the strength in uh, profitability come from? From the profit margin, which is ranked number one. It's a world class profit margin. It's been ranked number one for four years. And then sales growth has slowed a bit. It was ranked at number two relative to its global peers, and now it's at four, but still not too bad. So an excellent performance here for URC. Now, do you want to see the profitable growth rank for a company in your portfolio? Just leave a comment below with a company name and a country listing, and I'll post it if I have.